Hello all and uh, welcome to this video which is titled as uh, Career Counseling for Parents. Now, why am I making this video? So whenever I take career counseling sessions in schools and colleges, one common question is that we have decided to be an engineer, we have decided to be a doctor, a pilot, but our parents have different idea for ourselves and they have a different dream for ourselves and they are not letting us uh, achieve what we want to be. And this is a very common question, so I thought uh, I'll just gather my thoughts on that and uh, make a video for the parents uh, to understand uh, what is going wrong here. So although this video is for parents, uh, I'm sure all the students and you all are watching, so at the outset I want to mention that whatever our parents have to say to, uh, to comment and to observe and to uh, guide you, that is all with good intentions. So you should not get all worked up. You should not hate them for saying all these things. This is all they love you a lot and they all they want is good for you. So that is what uh, we students and uh, we everyone else has to understand this. Now coming to the uh, parents. Uh, so dear parents, the world you live in today, the world where your children are growing up today is an entirely different world than what you grew in and uh, things have changed uh, dynamically and exponentially if you sh see the changes which happen in one year now is is way way more than what happened in decades in your time and uh, the economy is very vibrant, the economy is very um, uh, dynamic and uh, literally there are career options in each and every dimension what you can imagine. When you were growing up, that age was of stability, of looking for uh, stable ven uh, ventures as perhaps government job was the only thing that was available, there was nothing much else available as a mean of employment and uh, that is why the whole psychology has formed that everyone should go for government jobs but if you see lakhs and lakhs of students are getting graduated uh, from colleges now and the number of government jobs is very very limited and uh, there won't be any scenario when everyone gets uh, these jobs and uh, now literally if you see this is the age of internet so much of information is available on jobs on careers on trainings on diplomas getting certified getting skilled uh, so literally you can make a career in everything so the times have changed but unfortunately uh, with our parents you all uh, have not moved on you have not accepted the idea that there can be many other things in fact wonderful things much better things uh, than than those uh, government jobs which you are telling your children to go after and uh, the numbers itself speak for uh, hundred of vacancy there are lakhs and lakhs of people who are applying and the competition is huge and mostly all the youth spend their uh, 20s and in fact all 30s as well in going after these jobs when they can skill them themselves and they can explore a career in what they want so the times have changed the economy have changed so you have to understand that these are different times and uh, your children are growing in different times so you cannot have the same ideas you cannot have the same solution uh, for careers uh, when it comes to your children now you as a parent you are in a position of power because uh, you control the finances, you are having the capability of funding their uh, education, funding their uh, courses, whatever they want to do, whatever professional courses they want to do, uh, you have raised them up. So you are in a position of power. Now, this position of power should not be abused in the sense that you dictate what they have to do rather than it should be uh, you should be a friend, philosopher and guide. If you have certain concerns, of course, as a parent, you will see that, uh, okay, he's going in somewhat other direction and he's too young, he or she is too young to understand that uh, he or she is making a mistake. And you may have all those ideas because as I said, and as I explained, you belong to an era which was completely different. So now, uh, instead of um, dictating your uh, viewpoints and your thoughts, 
uh, you should share your uh, concerns uh, with your uh, uh, daughter and son and uh, you should share why you are worried uh, why you think this will not work out uh, what are what can be some better ideas so rather than sharing uh rather than telling them to uh, do particular things you just share your concerns have conversations conversations um, really help a lot in understanding the other person sometimes what happens is uh, we just um, you know tell people uh, to do certain things without explaining the logic why we think uh, that person should do those things and uh, that creates a lot of friction and that spoils the relationship even so instead of uh, passing uh, dictates um, if you can be the friend philosopher and guide be there as a support uh, for your children in whatever capacity you can do that and uh, be there emotionally for them because this phase is um, is uh, pretty challenging for the youth uh, they have to Uh, become independent they have to prove themselves and there are a lot of challenges a lot of competition uh, there are a lot of choices uh, these days because of the information available so it's a very challenging time for the children when they grow up when they are in school uh, after class 9th they have to select some streams and then they have to decide which college they go on to what do they study what career they choose so it is a very challenging time and uh, in this uh, time they will need your support not just economic support uh, more, but more importantly emotional support that you are there and uh, you understand you want to talk you want to listen to them you want to listen to their ideas and uh, you want to share your concerns so all that so instead of just passing dictates please be there and uh, share your concerns have your have these conversations and uh, in fact uh, it will not just help their careers it will help build a good relationship with your children i have seen many people that they have uh, been driven to certain careers uh, by their parents they never wanted to do that they had uh, some other dreams and what happens is uh, there comes a point when they just they just you know lose it completely and then they have to go back to the drawing table and uh, again uh, figure out what they really want to do and they have to make that u turn and it's all because uh, the time when they could have made the right decision they were forced into something else but eventually they come out of it and uh, but they have lost significant amount of time and it spoils the relationship there is lot of regret as well when par- uh, when the children say that i wanted to do that but i was forced into this by my parents and now i'm very very uh, uh, unhappy with this and i want to go back so they go back and they make careers in whatever they want but at the same time that relationship with their parents is spoiled and um, it it becomes uh, really bad and beyond recovery so uh, this whole support which your children need which the youth needs during this phase will ensure that they reach the right direction with your support uh, with your uh, emotional support more importantly and then it will build a very good relationship uh, with your children you will be more like a friend than parent now uh, the last point i want to mention that this generation is very very smart and way smarter than what we are and they are born in the age of information uh, it's amazing how even small kids sometimes i have seen that in class 6 class 8 they have this clarity amazing clarity of what they want to do in life and uh, how they are going to achieve it they have a full fledged plan uh, they have jotted it down and they uh, they know much more than you do so you need to accept that i know it may be a little uh, difficult accepting that we always think we have more experience uh, i mean the older generation would think that they have seen it all uh, but the way the technology is evolving the way the times are changing uh, i think you we as a older generation we have not seen much and uh, things are rapidly changing and this generation next is very very smart so what all uh, they need during while they grow up and uh, make their careers uh, is emotional support and of course they will need support in terms of uh, economic resources and uh, 
all that is there but uh, i personally feel that emotional support is the most important just be there just be there as a very good friend and listen to them share your concerns support them go out with them explore the career options help them make that decision help them uh, hit and try different different career options and uh, in the process you'll see that you make a very good relationship uh, with your uh, children so that is uh, the bottom line of uh, this uh, video uh, that these days uh, uh, the kids are very smart so smart much smarter than you so please uh, be there just as a support and uh, let them fly thank you so much for watching